gotta keep up here, ready? Wally Acha, Wally Acha, doodly doo. Oh, that's probably one of the best experiences I think of camp is actually meeting right when they get off the bus. Um, you can see their smiling faces as they're waiting on the bus and they can see you and you're just, it's just that waiting of just to hug each other and just kind of be like with, back in the same presence and being with each other kind of thing again. Um, but that moment right there is like when you actually see the child or like the kid and you can just see that they're ready for this week and that they're excited and definitely brings in that energy I think to all the companions. Um, but yeah, being there and just being able to see them smile and knowing that this is just going to be a great week definitely puts out a big positive vibe I think and energy to the entire camp. Really exciting to see him come in on the buses and I mean the whole time you're like, oh look here's all these kids coming in, we're all gonna have such a great time, but secretly in the back of your mind you're like, where's my kid, where's Reese at? And you're just kind of scanning waiting for them. It's amazing because even if you would have seen each other a week ago, this is a whole new area whole new time you get to be with that person every second for a whole week and she's all yours or he, you know and so I feel and my camper does this to me and I don't like it but she always sits in the very back of the bus and so she's always one of the last people to get off the bus and so I wait in anticipation for her to get off that bus and I'm like getting real antsy like come on Jackie come on let's go you know like and so and she always takes the longest time to get off the bus and, and I always wait and when she comes out, I just run to her and give her the biggest hug I have since last year when she got here. And I just feel like like a mother. I feel like my child is back, you know, she's mine for a week, and I get to just take care of her. But it's really fun to have them come in and have every, every companion and every staff member there to welcome them in say, here, we're at Camp Quality, we're going to have a good week, let's go. So I met her and her family a few weeks back just so she knew who I was kind of coming off the bus and just to give her parents that comfort level. But honestly, I don't really have many expectations going into it just because I want us to just be able to have a fun week and especially since it's centered around her, I just want to face around her. So not really setting any expectations for the week other than just having fun and building that relationship. Good goal to have in life. I'm taking a video anyway, oh, so. Oh, you're taking a video. <laughs> last year we had a long discussion about Justin Bieber. Yes. He's still my boyfriend. He's still dating. Good. that went through the same thing or is going through the same things that you did 
And if they have questions about certain things, you can help talk them through it. Or if they have, they feel like they're left out from friends at school or something, you can kind of help them with that. Because I kind of felt like that when I was going through cancer. And I had my cancer and going through treatments and stuff. And um, that's kind of what people did for me when I was a camper here. They kind of helped me know that other people are going through this. And so, to me, being a camper turned companion, you are better able to help the kids understand this stuff. Especially when they're little. When they're bigger, they're all good. But, um, so especially somebody who's new to cancer, or even somebody in your cabin who just started to camp, you can tell them your stories and get them used to being here and tell them all the wonderful things that we do at camp and, you know, leave them better than they were when they got here. first volunteered and thought like, oh, look at, look at what I can do for other people. I can maybe make a difference in someone's world. I can be a part of a good thing. And I came here and I realized that the kids were going to teach me so much more than I could ever teach them. They've showed me how to kind of take what life gives you and make the most of it. They've taught me how to be thankful for everything that you have. Um, they've taught me how to take something you thought was going to be bad, something that everyone else would complain about, and turn it into something good and something that you can help other people with. And I don't know. Every year that I come here, I just learn more. It helps me grow as a person. It helps me become a better person. When I, I thought that that's what I would be doing for other people, and that's really what they've done for me. So to me, that's, that's what being a companion means the most. My name is Brecken. I was born in 2010. Um, I'm here with um, a guy named Blue who is filming me. Um, we are just now practicing for a year weather. Hear more later. I think it's a great way to just be a fool. I was just like, it's, kids don't see adults really going to make fools of themselves, and this is an opportunity where the kids get to see it, and also, I mean, it gives the companions out of their comfort zone by allowing them to act a certain way that they knew really not act in normal society, and so I think being able to come to all this is definitely make a fool of themselves, and gets them out of their comfort zone, it puts them in a different perspective, and I think gives the companions an opportunity to also come from a child's point of view and be more childhood. Fireworks are always a lot of fun. What we do is we go down and we sit on little blankets and we hang out. So you're sitting down there for a very long time, watching these amazingly beautiful fireworks go up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Perfect time. Sorry, it's back. <laughs>